الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين وبعد This video is about the Palestinians in specific uh, As you know there is the conflict that has started again maybe for the 150th time in uh, in, in Palestine in Gaza October 7 and uh, since then I've had some so-called people who call to the Salafi Dawa that's with their mouth what they're saying Salafi Dawa stabbing the Palestinians in the back from crazy talk by a crazy person I'm saying it who says there is shirk in Palestine everywhere there is grave worship I'm not gonna support these people they don't need your support Allah is helping them Allah will protect them and there isn't no there is no shirk everywhere in Palestine there are no mushrikeen everywhere in Palestine why are you saying this right now under under this tremendous bombardment by the Jews killing thousands of Muslims and injuring tens of thousands instead of you know uh, saying the truth having some emotions some humanity in you and saying some good words or shut up not say anything you come and say these words and it seems like he teamed up with another uh, maybe as crazy maybe even more uh, person who belongs to a country that made uh, a peace treaty with the Jews they're teaming up against the Palestinians number one they both talk very fast also just talk and they agreed among themselves to denounce and stab the Palestinians in the back saying some crazy stuff first of all there is no shirk everywhere in Palestine or grave worship it's a Muslim country like every other Muslim country on the face of the earth they're simple Muslims they love the religion the masajid until the Jews started demolishing the masajid were filled with people especially Gaza I'm from the West Bank and we know that the Gaza people are more religious uh, than the people in the West Bank in the West Bank also there's so many people who are religious who go to the masajid but just like every other country Muslim country they have some segment of the community that is uh, uh, at a minimum not practicing their religion as they should at a minimum even more but it's just a Muslim country so saying these things at this time it's, it's to me it just shows how hypocrisy has taken over some people who claim to be call us to the Salafi Dawah among the things that these people say and uh, remind you this is Salafi Dawah Salafi Dawah has been against the Khawarij idea Khawarij uh, literally the word means rebels <laughs> from the beginning from the early era in Islam it's those who followed the Salaf al-Salih the Prophet and his companions second generation and third generations of Islam all agree to be against the Khawarij Imam Ibn Taymiyyah Shaykh al-Islam said that the first deviant sect to appear among Muslims was the Khawarij and the first leader they denounced was the Prophet of Islam Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam until today they come I mean these days uh, even Shia say they're Salafi they follow the way of their Salaf even the Shia so everybody says it now uh, bring your proof that you actually follow the way of the Salaf al-Salih 
like for example the crazy talk about this the Palestinians in Gaza should overthrow Hamas really isn't this the classical the classical uh, idea of the Khawarij I mean what did they do that's the whole thing they overthrow the their Muslim leaders overthrow Hamas how can they do that I mean the Jews have been killing this discriminately like crazy for uh, 40 days now it's uh, unbelievable and but they didn't finish Hamas you want the people in Gaza who don't have weapons to overthrow Hamas they can't the fact that Hamas rules them means that the Gaza people have no ability to remove them just like any other Muslim country what a stupid idea to say to the people I'm a Salafi do the Khawarij thing so that we can support you oh, we don't need your support Wallah. and Hamas by the way I wrote about them extensively just in case somebody comes and says now they're afraid oh I'm, I'm not with Hamas I wrote about them since they started and I criticized very much and still do their affiliation with Iran the Shia the Shia hate Muslims the Shia hate Palestinians Iran kept instigating Hamas to do things and then they stand by and do nothing <laughs> yeah Palestinians see with your own eyes this Hezbollah has maybe 20 30 times the number of uh, rockets than Hamas and there's just shooting something here something there Iran didn't do anything in fact some leaders in Iran said that Hamas didn't tell us what they were going to do they didn't do any help so this to me is a very big red line because the Shia are the enemies of Islam the Jafaris anyway so tell them overthrow their their government <laughs> and you call yourself a Salafi they can't overthrow their government and uh, what can I say what happened October 7th uh, Hamas doesn't even deny it that they started it but it is a part of a hundred and six year old conflict that so the Jews repeatedly so many times so many 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 times killing the Palestinians massacres driving the, them out of their homes and still doing that so what Hamas did is in the middle of the conflict it didn't start it it didn't start it and the people in Gaza don't have the means or the power or the strength to remove Hamas and for this to come from somebody somebody who claims to be a Salafi this is I, I can't laugh or it. it's a joke but I can't laugh while seeing all these you know uh, reports the images of the Palestinians the child the children the infants being devastated by the Jews you come and tell them all this rubbish uh, well uh, they can't remove Hamas uh, if they could they would have done it you see anyway that's not the topic today now these two people I just mentioned so one of them belongs to a country that made a peace treaty with the Jews they never had war with the Jews but they made a peace treaty and he says that the people there cannot you know reject uh, what the leader said well, uh, I, I advise the people who live in that country to be patient we do not call to rebellion because this is the exact Khawarij method brings more trouble than good so in their country they should you know be patient I know so many of them in that country would never accept this treaty or to buy Israeli vegetables and fruits knowing that even the European Union 
doesn't allow vegetables and fruits to be sold from Israel unless they're sure it didn't come from the settlements from the West Bank. But this people allowed, um, um, what can I say? People have to be patient with their rulers. They have to. Otherwise, look at the trouble that happened all over uh, around us from that so-called Arab sp Spring. It turned to a very, very nasty winter. Uh, think about it, you know, Tunis, Libya, Egypt, Syria, Yemen. Anyway, so yes, they, they should be patient with the leader and not cause a rebellion. So until now, I agree with that fast talking person. But here is, here is the thing that to me, well, I'm trying not to laugh. How, how crazy can somebody be and then claim that it's a Salafi Dawah? So they are requiring the Palestinians in Palestine to obey the ruler who's thousands of miles away from them. I mean, does this make any sense? I'm asking you. Yeah, Muslim. Yeah, thousands of Muslims are listening to these two people who are destroying your da'wah, no knowledge, talk fast, no knowledge and talking fast, and I don't know what they're doing or, or, or for whom they are doing the bidding, really, against the Palestinians at this time. Instead of saying, we support our Muslim brothers and sisters in Palestine, they can say, like I do, I don't support Hamas, but we're not talking now about Hamas, about two million Muslims being slaughtered. Say something to satisfy your feeling that these are your Muslim brothers and sisters. So this one who belongs to a country that never had war with Israel, that made a peace treaty with the Jews, requiring the Palestinians to obey that ruler. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you an example. Well, I'm laughing because so much frustration. So let me give you an example. So if the king of Morocco makes a peace deal with Iran, they never fought, and then says to the people of Iraq, the Sunnis, obey Iran and give up your, you know, your your struggle. Don't fight it, just accept it. And if you can sing the praises of the king in Morocco, he's not going to do that, king of Morocco. I'm just giving you an example. You can use any other country. But saying to Iraqi Sunnis, uh, submit to the Ja'fari Shias. Yeah, they are kuffar. They say the Quran was changed. The Prophet's companions, they all became kuffar after he died. Aisha committed zina. But you know what? I made a peace with them. And uh, I never fought them, but a peace deal. Uh, so all Muslims of Iraq submit and give up. And you have to obey me. The people of Iraq will say, you're not the ruler here. We don't have to obey anything you say, period. And another period. And 10 more periods. What's wrong with you people? Where did it say in Islamic history that if a leader in the East makes some kind of treaty with somebody, an enemy of Islam in this case, that the Muslims in the West have to obey him when they have their own rulers. <laughs> the West Bank is under Mahmoud Abbas, as sleepy as Joe Biden. You know, Trump kept saying sleepy Joe, sleepy Mahmoud Abbas. But he's the ruler there. It's not that country. They don't have to obey another country and give up their struggle for the Holy Land, allow the settlers to come on a daily basis, shoot them, kill them, kill their children, steal their homes and farms, and then drive them away in a huge concentration camp that is the largest in the world, the West Bank, and the second largest is Gaza. You have between four and a half and five million Palestinians living there. 
concentration camp, tell them, no, 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 no more struggle because that country that's uh, about a couple of thousand miles away from you, they made peace. You have to obey that leader. No, we don't. <laughs> Absolutely not. We don't have to. Exactly this is the Khawarij way. You see, the Khawarij, <laughs> the Khawarij, they claim those who don't obey them throughout the Muslim world are not Muslim. Because they say, you obey us, even though they're in the East and, you know, somebody else in the West, Muslims have to obey them and do the Islam their way because they require people who are under another leader to forget about their leader and if they can remove him and submit to that leader who cannot possibly cannot possibly be present physically in their land how can i explain it more plainly than this the palestinians have their own leaders whether you like the leaders or you don't mahmoud abbas and Hamas. Now you made peace treaty with the Jews. Suit yourself. You're going to meet Allah. Suit yourself. The people who are living in your country, please be patient. We have enough from the Khawarij ways and practices uh, that cause the Muslims so much harm from the beginning. From the beginning of this deviant sect who were promised hellfire in a hadith that is authentic Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam described the Khawarij as the dogs of the people of the fire the book is coming inshallah the second edition of the jihad book I'm working on it right now and there you can find this hadith anyway how can you require people who are a couple of thousand years away from your ruler to obey that ruler when he doesn't rule over them isn't this the Khawarij way so you know forget about Mahmoud Abbas and go out there and praise uh, sing the praises of that ruler uh, by the way when I mention uh, Morocco I mentioned Moroccans have shown themselves to fight for their brothers and sisters in Palestine many times many times but they're so far away, they can't really help. And uh, the Algerians too, I mean, I, uh, I haven't seen an Arab or a Muslim who's informed about what's going on there, who doesn't support the Palestinians. I'm just giving an example here, so don't take it literally. But uh, it doesn't make any sense. You're there, you're asking these people to obey you. Based on what? And you call the Salafi da'wah? Unless the Khawarij became Salafi, all of a sudden the Khawarij da'wah became a Salafi da'wah. Otherwise, you're a liar. You are a liar, a liar, a kadhab. Stop talking too fast, saying too many things, and literally fighting with people. One of the strangest uh, videos I saw, is one of these two, he challenged another person for a debate and they were debating each other in the streets yeah what are you debating about you know both of you don't have knowledge in the religion uh, it shows I call on you to remember Allah's statement in the Quran the believers are only brothers and sisters feel some compassion some mercy for your brothers and sisters in Palestine if they could they would have stopped Hamas knowing the consequences but it happened already don't keep talking about who started what talk about what's going on now show some compassion some mercy in your heart la ilaha illallah we support our Muslim brothers and sisters everywhere on the face of this earth and this is the Salafi Da'wah we do not call for rebellion against Muslim rulers but for patience knowing how the Khawarij proved to us in our own lifetime how rebellious groups and Khawarij 
they only bring trouble to Islam and Muslims. Uh, Imam Ibn Taymiyyah mentioned before the fact that the Khawarij never brought good to Muslims. That's his statement. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help our brothers and sisters in Palestine against this ruthless, ruthless attack on them. They want to solve the Palestinian question. And they want to do it the same way Hitler tried to uh, end the Jewish you know, problem with the final solution. They're doing the same thing Hitler did. Reminding you that Hitler was a Catholic. I mentioned in my jihad book, he said, I am a Catholic. I was a Catholic. I will always be a Catholic. And he was quoting words uh, reported from Jesus in the New Testament. He, like he's like he's a sheikh. <laughs> he's giving them fatwa. I'm, I'm finishing the the work of the, of the Lord. Uh, you see? But that's in Europe. We had nothing to do with it. Palestinians. You came to a country where the Jews did not live, period, since the year 70. So we really need uh, people these days to support our Muslim brothers and sisters. You have criticism, well, fine, but that doesn't stop you from feeling compassion and hurt by seeing all these images. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to support the Muslims. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.